Welcome to Python application program in lecture series. In this lecture video, we look into Python list, list or mutable, traversing a list, list operations, and list slices. Python list are the most versatile of the Python compound data type. A list containing item is separated by a commas and enclosed with the square bracket. The some extent, the list are the similar to array in C. The one difference between them is that all the items belong to the list can be of different data type. The values stored in the list can be assessed by using the slice operator. The operators are square bracket and colon. The width indexes starting at zero in the beginning of the list and working their way to end minus one. The plus sign is the list of concatenation operate operators and the asterisk is the repetition operator. The list are used to store the multiple items in a single variable. List are one of the four built-in data types in Python used to store the collections of data. The other three are tuples, set, and dictionaries, all with different quali qualities and usage. A list is a order sequence of values. It is a data structure in Python. If the values inside the list can be any type, for example, like integer, float, strings, list, tuple, dictionary, etc. and are all called as a elements or items. The elements of the list are enclosed within the square bracket. For example, so list one, so this is the list variable name, name list one is equal to, so here uh, list items are one, minus five, 27 and 28. So here, so this is the list two. So here uh, we assign a int string string. So strings are elephant, tiger, and cheetah. So here list one. So we enclose it with the square bracket and list two we enclose it with the square bracket. So here list one is a list containing a four integer. So one minus five, 27, and 18 are the integer and list two is the list containing three strings. So strings are elephant, tiger and cheetah. So a list need not containing a data of the same type. So we can have a mixed type of the element in list. So for example, so this is the variable name, list variable name, list three is equal to 4.5, tiger, 15. So within a bracket, we specify three comma four. So here list three containing a float. So here floats are 4.5, a string, here string is tiger, an integer and a list. So here integer are 15, three, four. So this, this example list three is illustrate the list can be nested as well. So here three com comma four are the nested list. So for example, uh, uh, list one, so here in uh, one indexing value is zero and this is index, uh, five minus five indexing value is one and this indexing value is two and this indexing value is three. So list two, so here indexing value for elephant is zero, tiger indexing value is one and cheetah indexing value is two. So coming to list three, so 4.5 indexing value is zero and tiger indexing value is one, 15 indexing value is two and three comma four, three comma four indexing value is three. So here if you, so if list of three, so we'll print the 3.4. So if you want to print individual, individual integer inside the list, so, so we have to call, first we have to call the index. So here index is three. After that, we have to specify the uh, nested nested list indexing value. So here nested list indexing value for three is 
0 and 4 indexing value is 1. So if you want to print 3, if you want to extract the print 3, we have to specify 3 colon 0. So if you want to print 4, so we have to specify 3 comma 1. So 3 is the nested list indexing value. So inside the list, again we have to specify the indexing value. So here indexing values are 0 and 1. So 0 for 0 for 3 and 1 for 4. An empty list can be created any of the following ways. So for example, so list is equal to square bracket. So this, this square bracket is indicate it is a data type is list. So if you want to check just you type type and here you pass the variable name. So variable name is LST. So here so class is list R. So we can specify in another way. So here first we have to specify the variable name LST is equal to list of parentheses. So here we can use the normal braces. So if after that so just you check the type of the list LST. So class of the LST is list. So in fact line list parenthesis is the name of a method of the class list ends. A new list can be created using this function by passing an argument to it. So for example, so list2, this is my variable name list2 is equal to list of. So here I am passing 3, 4, 1. So if you print LST2, the Python interpreter will print the 3, 4 and 1. Let's try this in Python interpreter. So I first I want to create one empty list. So if you want to create empty list, first we have to specify the list variable name. So for example, let's say list variable name is equal to s. s is equal to just you open the square bracket and close it. So the here we created one empty list. So just you verify this type of type of the s is s is class list class list so this is the one way to create one way to create the empty list so let's consider one example so list 1 is equal to so 1 comma minus 5 comma 27 comma 18 so here so list variable name is list 1 lst 1 so here uh, uh, values are 1 minus 5 27 and 18 so all are integer value so you can check this type of type of lst 1 is is class list so here so the, uh, so we know that so list can list we can assess by using indexing values so for example here so this is the zero indexing value zero and this is minus five is the one indexing value is one and 27 indexing value is two and 18 indexing value is three so so if you want to assess minus five so we can assess by using indexing value so let's say LST LST 1 of so I want to assess this I want to print this minus 5 so minus 5 indexing value is 1 so here just you specify the indexing value 1 so it will print the uh, 1 indexing content so here content is minus 5 so it's going to print minus 5 so if you want to print minus 5 and 27 so we have to specify the range so here indexing value is 1 and here indexing value is 2 so in python list python list so start value is included and end value is excluded so if you want to print 27 so i have to specify 
plus one value so for example you take list one one so i want to print minus five and 27 so here first i have to specify one colon colon here the indexing value for this is two but i have to specify two plus one so here three so this is going to print minus five and 27 so it will print minus five and 27 so uh, let consider one more example so here list 2 is equal to so here i'm going to specify string value the, the string is elephant elephant the next one is tiger and next is cheetah so here the elephant indexing value is 0 and tiger indexing value is 1 and cheetah indexing value is 3 so just you check here the type of the list 2 is type of the list 2 list 2 is class list so if you want to assess this list so we can assess by using indexing value so for example if you want to assess tiger the, just you say lst2 2 of the indexing value of the tiger is 1 so it will print the tiger so let consider one more example list 3 is equal to is equal to I'm going to specify one float value 4.5 4.5 the indexing value for 4.5 is 0 and next one is I'm going to uh, specify string the string is tiger tiger so next one is integer value 15 so after that I'm going to specify one nested list so list nested list is contain integer value 3 comma 4 so then you close the list so here 4.5 indexing value is 0 and integer indexing value is 1 and 15 indexing value is 2 and nested list indexing value is 3 so if you print lst3 of 3 so in interpreter is going to print 3 comma 4 so if you want to print this first we have to specify the nested list indexing value after that we have to again we have to specify the uh, nested list indexing value so here so here the three index nested list indexing value for three is zero and four is one so here so let's say lst three three of one let's say one so one it's going to print tiger so here indexing value for the tiger is one so lst list of 3 of 3 let's 3 so it's going to print 3 comma 4 so here the indexing value for the 3 comma 4 is 3 so 4.5 indexing value is 0 tiger indexing value is 1 15 indexing value is 2 and 3 comma 4 indexing value is 3 so if you want to print nested list value so we have to specify the we again we have to specify the indexing value so nested list indexing value is 3 so we have to specify the nested list indexing value first so for example lst 3 so nested list indexing value 3 3 so now we have to close the bracket and again 
we have to open the square bracket so now I want to print this I want to print 4 so if you want to print this 4 so we have to specify the indexing value so here indexing value for 4 is 1 and 3 indexing value 0 and 4 indexing value is 1 so here you specify 1 1 so it will print the 4 so if you want to print 3 if you want to print 3 so here we have to specify 0 value so here list of so list of list of 3 3 of 3 so this is the list nested list indexing value e after that so I have to specify the 3 indexing value so 3 indexing value is 0 here so just you specify 3 specify 0 so this is going to print 3 so if you want to print 3 comma 4 so we have to specify the indexing value for 0 and indexing value for the 4 plus 1 so it will print 3 comma 4 so now we will see the mutable properties of the list so here the elements in a list can be assessed by using the numeric index within a square brackets it is similar to extracting the character in a string so for example so list uh, 34 i so this is a nested list 2 comma 3 comma minus 5 so here 34 indexing value is 0 i indexing value is 1 and nested list indexing value is 3 and minus 5 indexing value is sorry 2 and minus 5 indexing value is 3 so if you print if you print list of 1 so it will going to print the i so if you print list of 2 the int interpreter is going to print the nested list so nested list list is consists of 2 comma 3 so observe here that the inner list mm -hmm. is treated as a single element by the outer list so if we would like to assess the element within the inner list we need to use a double indexing so for example so if 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 i want to print 2 so i want I, I, I want to specify the indexing value for the 2 so here indexing value for the 2 is 0 and indexing value for the 3 is 1 so here I want to specify first I want to specify the indexing value nested list indexing value is 2 2 after that I, I have to specify the 2 indexing value so 2 indexing value is 0 so if you if if I say list of 2 of 0 the in interpreter going to print the 2 value so print of list 2 list of 2 of 1 so this is the double indexing so it's going to print 3 note that the indexing for the inner list again start from 0 thus when we are using double indexing the first index indicates the position of the inner list inside inside outer list the second index means the position is particular value within within a inner list unlike string list or mutable that is using a indexing so we can modify any value within the list so in the following example the third element that is index is 2 is be modified so for example this is the list list so list co contain 34 i 2 comma 3 minus 5 so here 35 34 indexing value 0 i indexing value 1 2 comma 3 indexing value 2 and minus 5 indexing value 3 so i want to specify now i want to modify this 2 comma 3 into allo and to modify this so if you want to replace this so just you say lst is the variable name and 
2 comma 3 is the nested list so here and indexing for this is 2 so here I specify the indexing value passing the parameter 2 so after that I am using assignment operator equals so here I specify the I specified the allow so allow is the string so and location is list of 2 so 2 is the indexing value so if you print if you print the list if you print the list the interpreter is going to print 34 i and second position we modify 2 comma 3 into allow so its allow is going to print it so in last position minus 5 is printed so the list can be plot of a relationship between a indices and element this relation relationship is called as a mapping that is each index map to one of the element in a list if you attempt to assess a non-existing index so python interpreter will throw the error so for example so list is equal to 34 i 2 comma 3 minus 5 so indexing value is 0 this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 3 so here i am going to print list of 4 so 4 indexing value is not available so python interpreter will give the error so error is index error the least index is out of the range so python interpreter will also support a negative indexing a negative indexing count from the backward so for example this is my list this is my list so here the minus 5 indexing value is minus 1 2 comma 3 indexing value is minus 2 and i indexing value is minus 3 and 34 indexing value is minus 4 so if you print list of minus 1 it's going to print minus 5 so list of minus 3 it's going to print i so in list the in operator is applied on a list will result in a boolean values so for example you take list is equal to is is equal to 34i 2 comma 3 minus 5 so these are the contents content in my list so here i am using in operator so 32 32n list 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 name is ls ls so this instruction will, will give the boolean boolean value whether it's a true or false so here yeah, 32 is there in my list so python interpreter will give the true so if minus 2 minus 2 in ls minus 2 in my list so minus 2 is not there in my list so python interpreter will give the false now we will see list traversing a list can be traversed using a for loop if we need to use each element in a list we can use the for loop and in operator so for example so list is equal to 34 i 2 comma 3 is the nested list and minus 5 so here i'm going to say i'm going to declare for and loop variable is item and I'm, after that i'm going to use operator in and after that i am going to specify list so list content of 34i 2 comma 3 comma minus 5 after that i am going to print print item so item is the loop loop variable name so here in first iteration first iteration it's going to print 32 next iteration it's going to print i and next iteration it's going to print 2 comma 3 and next iteration it's going to print minus 5 list elements can be assessed with the combination of the range and len function as well so for example you take list is equal to 1 2 3 4 so after that i'm going to specify one loop for n for i i is my loop variable after that i'm going to specify n operator after that i'm going to specify the range and then function range of length of list so here length of the list is 4 range is 0 to 
3. So after that, I am going to say list of i. So i is the variable, loop variable i is equal to list of i, list of i. So this is going to print the list content. After that, I am going to say power of 2. So here, i contents are 1, 2, 3, 4. So power of 2, power of 2 in a sense, 1 to the power 2, 2 to the power 2, 3 to the power 2 and 4 to the power 2. After that, I am going to print, print list. So list, so if you, if you, if you are going to print this, the Python interpreter will print 1 to the power 2 value is 1, 2 to the power 2 is 4, 2 to the power 3 is 9 and 2 to the power 4 is 16. Here we wanted to do modification in the element of the list hence referring in indices is suitable than referring element directly. The length returns a total number of element in the list. Here it is 4. Then range function is makes the loop to range from 0 to 3 that is 4 minus 1. Then for every index we are updating the list element replacing original value by its square. The resulting values are 1, 4, 9 and 16. So list, list, list values are 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now we will see python list operator. The python allows to use the operator plus and star or asterisk on list. The operator plus uses a two list object and returns a concatenation of those two list. Whereas star operator takes one list object and one integer values say n and returns a list by repeating itself for n times for example so here i have a list 1 ls1 and list content is 1 2 3 and again i'm going to specify list 2 so list 2 is equal to 5 6 7 after that i'm going to print ls1 plus ls2 so here i'm using list operator plus so this operator is concatenating the two list two list contents so here the indexing value for the one is zero here two uh, one two indexing value is one and three indexing value is two and again list two indexing value for five is zero and six indexing value is one and seven indexing value is two so this operator is concatenate the list list one and list two so here so it's going to print so if you print list one plus list two so it's going to print one two three five six and seven so just you observe here here indexing value is zero and here indexing value is one and here indexing value is two so this is least one integer values and least two integer values are five six seven and integer index here is zero 1, 2. After concatenation, so here 5 indexing value is 3, 6 indexing value is 4 and 7 indexing value is 5. So let's consider one more example. So list 1 ls1 is equal to 1, 2, 3. So if you print, if you print ls1 star 3, ls1 star 3. So, so ls1 contents are well integer values are 1, 2, 3. So here I am using star operator and I am going, I am, I am say 3. So this instruction is going to print 3 times. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So here Python in interpreter is print the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. So here I am using star star operator so this is going to print the specified value so if you after star if you specify 5 so it's going to print 5 times so let's consider one more example 0 star 4 so this instruction is going to print 0 0 into 4 times so it's print 0 0 0 so if you specify 0 
into 10 0 star 10 it's going to print 0 into 10 times least slices are similar to string the slicing can be applied on the least as well as well the generalized syntax for the slicing is first we have to specify the starting value then we have to specify the end value so after that we have to specify the step size so here default step size is 1 default starting value is 0 so let consider one example so here list ls is equal to a b c d e so this this is my list so list contents are a b c d and e i stored in ls so ls is my list variable name so here a index position is 0 b index position is 1 c index position is 2 and d index position is 3 and e index position is 4 so here i am going to extracting the full list without using any index but only a slicing operator so here slicing op operator is colon colon so i am going to say print the list name is ls ls after that i am going to open square bracket so here i am using operator slicing operator colon so this instruction is print the entire list so these contents are a b c d and e so if you want to extract extract particular character or particular value so we have to specify the we have to specify the position so here i am going to extract the element from the second position so here so this is the first position and this is the second position and indexing value is 1 so i want to print b c d e so just i am going to say print variable name ls list variable name ls and here the initial value is 1 so end value no, so if you, if you want to specify you can specify the end value otherwise so uh, till end the interpreter is going to print the values so one colon so and step size default step size is one so this instruction is going to print the b c d and e so if you extract the first three elements so if you want to extract the first three elements so i want to extract a b c so i want to specify the starting in this case so we have to specify the start and end value so here starting position is 0 0 and end position is 2 so here default starting value is 0 no need to specify and end position is 2 so here i specify the 3 value because the interpreter will include the starting value and exclude the end value so that's what i want to specify it end value plus 1 so here end value is 2 plus 1 so 3 so this instruction is going to print a b c so if you want to select some middle values so i want to print c and d so in this case i need to specify initial value and end value plus 1 so print list ls 2 colon 4 so this instruction this is going to print index 2 value index 2 content is c and index 4 index 3 content is d so it's going to print c and d the index value for 2 and this is the end value end value is 4 minus 1 the 4 minus 1 the index is 3 so 3 3 indexing value is going to print it so 3 index value is d and 2 indexing value is c so we know that the python it also supports a negative indexing so for example this is the minus 1 minus 1 is the neg e negative indexing and this is minus 2 and this is minus 3 minus 4 and a is minus 5 5 so here 
I'm going to say print ls of minus 2. So here I'm not specified any starting value. So end value, end value is minus 2. So this instruction is going to print a, b and c. So we can do the reversing by using negative indexing. So reverse a string using a negative indexing value for the straight. So for example, you take print ls. I am not specified any start value or end value and step size is minus 1. So this instruction is print the print the reverse, reverse value, reversing value. So here my index, you know, my list is list contents are a, b, c, d and e. So this instruction is going to print e first, d, c, b and a. So modifying reassignments only required set of the values. So here by using slice, slicing, so we can modify the modify the list contents. So for example, you take so ls 1 comma 1 colon 3. So the index value is 3 and index value is index value is 1 and indexing value is 3. 3, 3 in the sense uh, 3 minus 1. So I am going to replace index 1 into b and index 3 into q. So after, after that I am going to print list ls. So this instruction is going to print a the first indexing value is p, next second indexing is q and next is d and next is e. So here, so we replaced b into p and c into q. Thus, thus the slicing can make many tasks simple. So if you want to do the reverse operation, reverse operation just you no need to specify the any start and end, end value just you specify minus 1 so only this in this instruction it's gives this instruction will gives the reversing reversing values reversing values just you specify slicing operator uh, no need to specify the start end and step, step size so it will print the entire list contents so the slicing slicing method makes many tasks very simple. These are some references. Thank you.